Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be making a tutorial on Live Split 1, the online web based version of the popular Live Split speedrun timer. So, to start out, you're just going to have this basic timer here. You can click it to start, click it to stop, and you have one split. You can also pause it, and when you're finished with it, you have to hit X to reset it. On the left side here, you're going to see the about and the settings. In the settings, you can configure your hotkeys and like for instance, say you wanted number one to be your start and stop, you could do that. Now back in the main menu here, on the left you can see you can change your speedrun timer to be between real time and game time. Now if you go up to the splits option on the left side and hit add and then hit this little folder button here, you're going to get a little pop up saying do you want to discard your current splits, but you do because you don't have any current splits. Now you're going to hit edit on the left and you're gonna come to this menu. In this menu, I'm gonna start by adding my game. So let's say I'm speedrunning Super Mario Odyssey, and my category is any percent. So here you can change the offset, which is how many seconds of delay before it actually starts your timer, and you can change your attempt count. So down here are your actual splits. So you can change your name of your splits, so I'm gonna change it to say World 1 and World 2. If it wasn't obvious, you can add them, inserting above or below on the left. So now back in our main menu, we'll hit back and back, and now our speedrun timer has two splits. Now here, you can add as many or as few splits as you want. One more thing before I go to layout, on certain games, say here I'm on Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, it will have a new option, which is leaderboard where you can see the current leaderboard, and some of the runs will have a little button here with a little download looking thing. So you're gonna wanna click that, and then you're gonna wanna head out of your splits, and then you're gonna wanna go add, and then you wanna go back in. So now you're gonna have all of that person's splits that have been downloaded onto your splits. So that's a pretty easy way to get a lot of splits done without much effort. And I often just use this and then make a few small modifications for myself. But this is still pretty boring. No color, no anything. Now just go to the left and click layout. Then click edit. And now it lays out for you your timer. So here we have our title, splits, timer, and previous segment. That's pretty nice, but still boring. So you can add here and you can add a number of different things. Say I'm going to add a graph here and I'm gonna have the graph at the bottom. I'll also add a PB chance. You can move these around just by dragging them around and dropping them. So back up to my title here, there's a numerous amount of settings that you can do in layout and component. I suggest you fiddle around with them and find what works good for you. But here I'm gonna add some color. So you go to background and click plain or alternating or vertical or whatever you want. And you click your color or colors that you want. So I'm gonna have a red that'll fade to black here. So all of this is completely customizable, which is really nice. You can make it vertical, plain, horizontal. You can have a red fading to black throughout your entire timer here, like I'm doing. Or you can throw in some other colors, maybe make it red, fade to black, fade to purple, or whatever your personal preference is. For the graph and the PB chance and other things like that, it's going to need quite a bit of data before it actually gets very accurate. So like for your first five runs, the PB chance will not be very accurate, nor will the graph, but later on it will be quite accurate. And that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.